Hey everybody, I'm Oliver Neo, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to mod and hack your Wii U. Um, we're going to be using today um, the kernel exploit with caffeine and TCP gecko. Now I'm sure you have probably no idea what that means, but trust me, you'll figure out soon enough. Uh, today we're going to be hacking Mario Kart 8. The method that we're going to be hacking Mario Kart 8 with can be used on other games, but we're going to be using Mario Kart 8 because um, that's the easiest uh, to do, uh, in my opinion. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download Caffeine. And also, um, just two warnings. First, um, if you hear any noise in the background, it's probably my dog. And second, you're going to be downloading a bit quite a bit onto your PC, so if you're kind of iffy about downloading stuff, trust me, it's not a virus or any, there's no viruses or anything, but like if you're on a computer where you're not necessarily allowed to download things, then maybe hacking your Wii U is not for you. But the first thing you want to do is download um, Caffeine, which I've provided a Google Drive link. Um, this is different than the actual like um, GitHub link because this one uh, it, it comes pa pre like packed with uh, all the stuff you're gonna need um, for this tutorial specifically. So you're just gonna want to when you see this, just click download. I've already downloaded it, so um, once it's downloaded, just extract the folder right here and go into it. Um, and then you're gonna want to you're gonna see server. So you just go into server. Um, take note of what's here. CaffeineServer.exe is what we're going to be using to actually transfer the files and replace them on your Wii U. Uh, caffeine root is we're going to re where we're going to be putting in the mods, and source is just the source of the um, caffeine server, which you probably shouldn't touch, just to make sure you don't mess anything up. So just go into caffeine root, and you're going to want you're going to see right away this is the Mario Kart 8 one. Um, you can tell that it's the Mario Kart 8 one because you can see it has EC right here, and that's your, what you're going to use to tell the difference. Um, if you want to add any more mods, you're going to have to find the title ID and make a new folder for it, which I can show you later. Um, so you're just going to going to want to go inside this, and you're going to see Vol, and then Content, and then once you go into Content, you're going to see four different folders right here. These shouldn't have anything in them. Um, the audio actually has something in it, but you can just delete that. Uh, delete these, because we're not going to be using audio today. Audio is like pretty rare that you're going to have them find a mod for that. But you can just delete the audio. Um, you're going to see audio, course, driver, and cart, because today we're, I'm going to be showing you how to mod, um, how to texture hack a driver, texture hack uh, a cart, and texture hack a course. Um, it, so first of all, you're going to want to download the mods and you of course want to find one that you like so just go to this next um, link which I'll have in the description and it is the custom Mario Kart wiki and you can see there's a bunch of directories so there's texture hacked characters and carts and texture hacked tracks there's not any custom tracks yet made because that takes a while to make so you're just gonna gonna go to texture hacked characters or carts or texture hacked tracks and once you go into there um, you can see there's going to be a bunch of stuff um, you can look through see what you like there's some carts too and you're going to want to download the one that you like the most so I'm going to be using I already have some installed but I'm going to be using dark peach bike suit um, and this basically um, so this is like a hack for dark peach to, to make it like her bike seat dark and I'm going to be installing a mod so that the jet bike appears dark as well and I'm going to be doing a night mod for one of the um, courses. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do, so you'll see in the top right there's going to be a download button. So you can just click download and it will send you to the link. It's usually fairly easy to download them and once they are downloaded the um, you can just extract them from their zips. If they're not in a zip, then you don't extract them. And go into your caffeine folder once again. So if you're going to be doing the driver, just going to click on driver. Normally it would be empty, but as you can see, I already have some mods. And you just want to make sure you find the SZS file. 
So this is the peach suit. So you're going to want to bring it into the driver folder and just place it right there. Um, and same thing basically goes for the cart content. Um, go to cart. This time there'll be three different things. There'll be body texture, emblem, and wing texture. Um, go into body texture because as you can see, um, it says body B. And this one says body B as well. So that would fit right there. So you put it right into there. And finally, for the um, courses, they actually have their own folders for each of them. So you can just put the entire folder into there for a course. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, you're pretty much done on the uh, computer side of things. On the um, Wii U side of things, you're going to have to do more. But the last thing you're going to want to do is find your uh, IP address. So just go to Quick Access. Then once you're there, um, type in on in this thing. You have to go into Quick Access or else something will mess up. Just type in CMD um, and your command uh, your command window will open up. So then all you have to do is type IP config and there you go. A bunch of stuff should come up. You're gonna want to try to find um, IPv4 address. Uh, Mine is right here, and that's what you're going to be using. So either take note of that, write it down somewhere, or if you can, if you think you can memorize it, then do that. Although I'd recommend taking, uh, noting down what it's at, what your address actually is. If you're not new to this, I've like used my address a lot, so I remember it. But that's pretty much it. You can close that. That's it on the computer side of things. All you have to do now is go on to your Wii U. All right, everybody, um, I'm now on my Wii U and we are now ready for the next part of the tutorial. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to your Wii U menu like here and then open up the internet browser. Um, and I forgot to mention earlier, you do need to have Wii U 5.1 um, 5 or 5.5.0. You can't have it above that, but for now, um, we're just gonna be doing this. Um, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up a website called loadine.ovh. And this is basically the access gate into hacking your Wii U. So just gonna go into the URL page. I know you, I know you can't see it because um, I'm recording the TV. And just type in HTTP colon slash slash load l o a d i n i i n e dot o v h and then it should load so this is what you should see and you should see it says detected firmware 5.5.1 so that means we're good so as you can see there's a little list there of what you can install so what you're going to do is tap it tap the list and scroll down to Caffeine plus kernel 5.5.0 to 5.5.1. Then tap that and then submit. And then it'll run a exploit, kernel exploit. So it'll basically play, play a fake video and then it'll glitch out. And then you're gonna you're gonna arrive here. Um, now go back into your internet browser and then select lodine.ovh. But one important thing to note is that um, your Wii U may crash during this time while you are trying to do this. Um, that's normal. All you have to do is just restart your Wii U, and it's completely fine. Uh, don't worry about it. Your Wii U is not broken or anything. So then just go back into Lodine.ovh. I have Lodine as a bookmark, which you can add to. Um, so it'll say step two, running caffeine. And then it'll load. And then now, here we are. Now, I know you probably can't see it. I know you probably can't see it that because it's not on the TV. That's why I'm going to use my phone. As you can see, um, this little thing appears on the gamepad. It says caffeine. Press A to install caffeine. And you have to type in your IP address. So you're going to be using the D-pad to type it in. So down to go lower and side to side to move around and up to go up. 
So you're just going to want to type in your IP address, and I will quickly do that. And then just press A. So then a white screen should appear, and you should go back into this, which now you can just press the Wii U menu button. And there you go. So the, ne so the next and final step is to simply open Mario Kart 8. So what you're going to want to do is on your computer, which I will show you, on your computer, simply open up Caffeine, uh, go to server, then run caffeine underscore server dot exe. And as you can see, it'll say listening on 7332 or whatever um, it is. It's like the number might be different. I'm not sure what the number exactly means. But then after you do that, you want to open up Mario Kart 8. So just scroll to it and click on it. Should load after you click on it, um, and you'll know if you got it right. If the caffeine server.exe, as you can see right now, it just starts going crazy. Just random stuff starts appearing constantly, and um, that means you did it right. You're good. Okay. Um, so it's loading right now, and it's just loading our mods. And here we go, Mario Kart 8. So let's press A to start and see if our mods worked. And as you can see, I already have a mod installed, but the mod characters will take quite a bit to load. So let's go to see if our Peach mod worked. And it did. She has the dark uh, outfit. And so that is pretty cool. Um, so now let's go. Oh, I, I guess I'm locked the. Um, tires and I usually use the whoops I usually use the GLA tires so let's check if our bike is dark and I guess the bike mod didn't work but sometimes your mods just won't work and um, that's always fine all you have to do is just try again see what you did wrong and sometimes sometimes it just won't work on you um, so now let's check to see if our um, if our Royal Waceway nighttime works. So we're just gonna go to solo race, start time trial, and we're just gonna be testing it out. So if it worked right, it should be nighttime. So let's hope that it worked. And it's it's very likely that it, it's likely that it won't, actually it's not likely, but there's a fair chance of it not working. But as you can see, it does work. And look at that, that looks really cool. Um, you shouldn't experience any lag when you're using the mods because um, it only takes lag to actually load the textures, but once the textures are fully loaded, it should be fine. So as you can see, it was working pretty well. Uh, it's completely nighttime, which is really cool. Uh, it's not normally nighttime. And uh, that is how to mod Mario Kart 8. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and you can always add more mods, but a few uh, drawbacks to this is Every time you turn on, turn off your Wii U and turn it back on again to play your modded thing, to play your modded Mario Kart 8, you will have to reinstall Caffeine from the website, um, which is kind of annoying, but you know, you're getting your mods, so what can you do? And the other drawback is that um, you have to run CaffeineSurfer.exe constantly, so you have to have your computer on if you're doing this. It won't work if you don't um, have your computer on. And uh, that is pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this was How to Mod Mario Kart. I hope you guys all enjoyed. And I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye.